miss this. Only in Japan. We're back in front of Akihabara Station, a really loud and chaotic place, isn't it? Oh, it is. It is that. And we're continuing our theme, Anime Song DJs. And I'm here with Patrick W. Galbraith, author of Otaku Spaces and Otaku Encyclopedia. And we're going to discuss Anime Song DJs. Yeah, so it's kind of a cool event because it sort of has this global spin to it. You have local people, you have people from overseas. And it's really just a good mix of everybody sort of getting excited about the music. But there's one thing I really have to ask you about. Mm -hmm. It's this otage dancing. Ah, otage, yes. Yeah, I mean, I saw these people with glow sticks. They had not just one, but they had, some people had 10 or 20 or like utility belts of glow sticks. A lot of them were putting them, yeah. A lot of them were putting them in their fingers and they making claws. Uh -huh, the Wolverine. Yeah. Wolverine. <laughs> this, this, is, this is the otage, right? So otage is basically this organized chaos where the energy builds up and you're getting really excited about the music and then you just explode into action, but you're also <laughs> organized with everybody else. So it's kind of like this feedback loop where it's on stage, you're reacting to the music, reacting to the people next to you, and giving that energy back, and the whole room is just really excited. Oh, it is exciting. And we're gonna take you there right now. Anime Song DJing. Hi, I'm This is Annie Crush, an Anime Song DJ event that is focused on bringing the Japanese and international communities together. If you love anime, music, and a good time, this is the place to be. Idol and DJ Momochi Minami really rocks the house. She's one of the headliners at the event. The setup is no different than any top-notch club. Anime on the screen, music booming onto the dance floor. It's not easy to stand still. Anime fans love it. This is Annie Crush organizer Xavier Bensky. He's put this event all together for anime music lovers and explains the how and why. Anime song DJ culture began around 10 years ago and uh, it probably started because a lot of DJs that were into other kind of music like techno, house, they uh, happened to be anime fans and they realized that they could take the music that they liked from their own anime and actually mix it the same way that they did for other music. And that's how it started and then it only kept growing and growing and now, especially because the number of anime has been growing, there are more and more songs to use. And so this culture has grown in depth in terms of the themes that it addresses and there are different kinds of parties, not only just general anime, there are classics, there are some special um, DJ parties that are dealing with a particular anime or anime genre. So the, the variety and the interest of, of these different kinds of parties are only growing. These two cosplayers take their love for anime music to another level. If you can't DJ, try singing the DJs will back you up. Packing energy and excitement, they're a hit on stage to lovers of the genre.
もう本当にありがたいですよねああいうスポーツはねお客様からのパワーで緊張とかも全部吹っ飛んでたんですね、うん、そうそう出る直前までめちゃめちゃ緊張してたんですけど出たらもううわーみたいなハイテンションになっちゃって超楽しかったですね At every event are these light sticks. Some otaku love them so much, they have utility belts displaying extraordinary color. Disposable sticks are a couple hundred yen. There are more expensive LED battery powered ones that really radiate color. It's an essential tool for an after hours otaku. For a beginner like me, it's easy to start off. The light sticks are used for otage dancing, and each song has its own moves. First time doing otage, I don't even know how to do it. There seems to be a lot of coordinated moves. I had one that was a, a snappy stick or something. Well, it's gone out, so it's good to have one with the battery in it, like a lot of other people. But there seems to be a lot more otage going on. Gotta get back to it.、Come、Many、on. moves have names like Thunder Snake, PPPH, Wolverine, and Matrix. I need a little practice, so let's go see a pro in action. サンダースネークとアマテラスを打たせてもらいました。えー、おたけはやっぱりみんなで一緒になって盛り上がれるので楽しいです。おたけ最高。This is Oshiri, both an idol and an anti song DJ. To end her set, she puts down the DJ headphones and picks up the mic. It's the trademark of a real idol. An ability to sing and dance away from the DJ unit and get the crowd excited. These idols aren't Japanese, but they sure get the crowd going. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Ari des, Sari des, Ari and Sari des. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. The fans worship them with otage and all their light sticks out of love and appreciation for their song and dance. Getting into the music that you really love and like doing otage with everyone, all his friends, kind of thing.、So、it's a lot different. I really like it.、Right? Yeah, I really love it. So there's like a feeling of a bond between everyone. Yeah.、So. Like even if you don't know everyone's names and you come from like different places in the world, maybe you don't even know the idol. Or yeah.、So. You could all just like get into it. I like that event, right? Yeah. Get your otage on and join the whole world at an Annie Song DJ event to share your love for anime after hours. Rock on in Japan! <laughs>